to buzzbooster.tv. I'm Shahar. And I'm Nash. And Happy New Year! Happy New Year! We really hope all your dreams come true. Yes, they better. They better come true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what happened? Just a blank. <laughs> no, no blank. They better. They better. Okay, well, we do wish everything that you have planned come to fruition. We know yes. we will if you take action. That's what things. I was going to say. you got to take action, yes. though. Well, this time of the year, is, it's kind of funny, actually, because we all tend to make lists and plans and goals, promises, if you already yes. watch our, our show. Uh, you know, and, and the common one is mm -hmm. to make more money or grow the business or something related to money, which is totally okay, by the way. But I want to talk about your mindset about money. Yes. The very first one is to understand that there is nothing wrong with making money. There's nothing wrong with making money. Exactly. But I have to make one thing very clear though. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing wrong with making money. But we tend to think there is. And we tend to, t to feel uncomfortable when we are talking about it. And we tend to feel uncomfortable when we are asking for a sale. You know, there is a difference between you not being pushy, which is a marketing strategy that is not working anymore, with, you know, doing what needs to be done to close a sale uh, according to your own personality and the personality of your prospect. Yes. Because you have to make sales yes. and you have to bring money uh, to, to your business. So f the first thing that I want you to think about in this new year is really thinking, okay, it's okay to make money. It's okay to ask for money. I am worth and I'm making an exchange here for uh, of value, right? Maybe you're a coach, a speaker, a trainer. So you provide knowledge and in, in exchange for that, you get money and that's okay. Okay. And the other thing is when we, we make those uh, wishes of what we want to accomplish, we talk about like making money, becoming a millionaire, whatever is your goal. What happens then? We don't fulfill and sometimes we have worked very, very hard yes. and we still don't get there. Maybe that happened last year with you. You had these plans that you did work hard, but end of the year came and you didn't accomplish. And part of it, you may say, are from external forces that you have no control over. And you know what? If you don't have control over something, forget about it. Because it's only going to occupy space in your brain and there's nothing it's not worth it yes. it's not worth it to keep focusing on those things if you don't have control over them exactly move on move really. on but on the things that you do have control yes for example your mind you should revisit the reason that things didn't work the way you wanted and a common one is our positive mindset positive mindset tell us more well one thing is for you to want more money, success in your uh -huh. life. And the other is for your brain to want that. Okay, okay. You know, we, we have, you know, in our formation years and, and in psychology, we say that up to seven years is when we get all the information from the outside and we create our beliefs about life. And if you were in a family... So, so you're saying that I, up to my, uh, up, uh, up until it's like seven years of age, that's when I'm creating the beliefs I'll have for the rest, for the rest of my of life. life. Okay. So, for example, if during the holidays you get together, you used to get together with your family, and they would badmouth people that had money, or they, they would say that money is dirty, and pe or people shouldn't have money, or whatever was the conversation, the, that family tradition that you had, this is what you got as true truth. And then this is what's going to get in your way the rest of your life. Okay. We so now that I'm aware. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that. Oh, wait. <laughs> don't touch don't me. Touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> okay, so for example, we have a friend that is an entrepreneur. And yes, he has... I have several friends for entrepreneurs. Yeah, well, we do. But this one specifically it was funny because we were in a, in a dinner with him uh -huh. uh, some years ago, right? And we were talking about money and he always had these huge ideas, right? Yes, I think ideas. I know which friend you're talking yes. about. Yes, good ideas that okay. could really turn into multi-million dollar dollars. Oh, no, really right? good ideas. But something always got in the way. And that night, when we were having uh, this dinner? dinner, he just mentioned uh, people that have money are evil. Oh, yes, I remember. Remember that? that? Mm -hmm. There's the belief. There's a the belief. See? Coming, I mean, it just came out. And you know, this is funny because I, at least me growing up, like, those are things that you hear all the time. It's 
It's, it just comes out, it's like, oh, there's no meaning to it, but reality is that there is meaning to it. Yes. Because subconsciously, that's your belief. That's your belief, and now you have to change that belief. So the very first, you asked me what I, uh, if I'm aware what I should do. Yes. So the very first thing, really, I would start, you know, you, I know you have tons of lists right now of what you want from this new year. Well, why don't you make a list of your family traditions that do not serve you anymore? Good. So the things that you heard in, in, when you were younger and you now believe to be true, and many times yes. you're not even aware of that. So and these are the, the, the negative traditions that we're talking about, right? Yes. So like Shahar said, the things that you've heard that, you, that were known to you and to your family, that are known to you and to your family as truths, but that aren't really. Yeah. You know, I'll give you a personal example. Give us a personal example. I grew example. up in a family that had an interesting... Uh, dynamic. Dynamic, right? Part of that family was extremely rich. Yes. Right? And part of the family was not. Because, you know, well, whatever was the reason, some of the kids were not rich, some of the kids were very, very, very extremely rich. So, I grew up in an environment that I had a lot of contact with what it was to be a millionaire, but it was always them and us and we are good, and them, they are evil, okay? My whole life, that conundrum about having money impacted what I achieved in life. And it was only after I was able to break with the family as a whole and, you know, move far, far away that I started really, really becoming aware of what I was doing to myself by embracing that family tradition. You know, the simple things as being on the phone with the parent and talking about money all the time because money is this big issue that has to, to envelop our lives. Letting that go allowed me to grow my business, right? But every now and then, when we come to a level in the business and we need to go to the next one, that kind of comes back and I have to pay attention to that again. Okay, because these are things that are ingrained in us during many, many years. Yes. So what do we do about it? So we make a list of these traditions that we want to break. Things that don't serve us, but became part of our beliefs. Make a list. Make a list. You're on, on the road right now, so that's the best yes. time of the year. One word list. Yeah, and after you really become aware of that's not serving you, you will start telling yourself what it should be. Okay, so this is when it comes the time when we do affirmations and they have a real purpose. You see, because now you're telling your unconscious brain loud and clear what you are. So, for example, something very simple, I'm a money magnet. I'm a money magnet. Uh, and you don't say anything bad about yourself. You don't say out loud, uh, out loud because or else you're going to be reinforcing that negative aspect. You don't say the negative out loud, but you do say the affirmation out loud. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do, because you want, you want also to convince this uh, conscious brain as well. Yes. So you start saying what you want to achieve. And now the main purpose here is really because you are aware of a belief that you have that doesn't serve you in business anymore and you want to replace that. Yes. Okay? It takes some time. It doesn't happen if you say it's three times overnight. and then you stop. It's not overnight. And, and it takes some uh, policy. It takes some, some uh, looking at what you're doing over the day. It takes a lot of introspection. Yes. And it takes a lot of analysis on, like you were saying, the things that you are doing. Because many times, okay, so you might actually... Uh, you might write down the list of the traditions that you think are the ones, mm -hmm. but then by analyzing your day-to-day -day activities and how you deal with things, you might actually realize a few more of those traditions that you might not have thought of before. Yeah, simple things uh, as, you know, not doing something that is important to you because you're going to save a penny that is not going to, to benefit you yes. whatsoever. So take a look at your spending habits, how you deal with money, your relationship. We have to respect money yes. and we need to have a healthy relationship with that. Yes. So for this year, no positive mindset. No positive mindset. Bring wealth to your mind. Wealth to your mind. And just going back to what you were saying about dealing with it. Do the affirmations. It's not going to be overnight. But think about it this way. You, you, your, your brain has been programmed, like Shahar said, since you were seven. Mm -hmm. And so however, how, how, however much older. older you are now, 
look at all those years of, of this doing the same thing program. over and over again. So of course it takes a little bit of time, but stick to it. Yes. Pay attention to these things because they are important to your business as well. Of course they are. Yes. You know, I think this is an important message. It's very important. <coughs> Sorry. Don't get emotional. No, I'm not emotional. <laughs> Uh, it made a difference in my life and I believe it's going to make a difference in yours as well. It will, if you do it. So, yes, so don't forget to first implement and then share it with your friends. Yes. If you think it's really important to a specific friend, send him or her an email with the link for this video. Yes, we love yes. it when you share. Yes, and we love your comments and your questions. So yes. please send them us to send them to, to us, whatever you're watching. Probably there is a comment box, do that. Do it there. Yes, and if you want to have a show, that goes to different platforms like uh, iPods and Apple TVs and, and Roku, Roku and, and, Samsung TV and online and, and everywhere. everywhere. Go to startmytvshow.com. It's very simple for you to have your very own show. Just you just gotta do it and go to startmytvshow.com. See you next time. See you next time.